Hello everyone, welcome to another Monday Night at the Beat, a uh, holiday edition. This is the end of our four-week series. And last um, Monday of the year! Last Monday of the year, and yay. And also a shout out to San, uh, San Diego for the New Year's Eve Tango Festival. It is sold out every day, every class, everything's sold out. Except for the beginner track and the afternoon milongas. Yep, except for beginner track and afternoon milongas. Um, what did we focus on today in class? What were the two elements we tried to tie together? Colgadas. Colgadas? Alterations. Alterations. We gave, it, we gave them spices. One spice was strong, one was weak. What was the strong spice? Clove. Clove, and the clove was? Strong. The alteration was strong. The weak one was? Nutmeg. Nutmeg, and that was a little bit of colgada. And what kind of a colgada is this? One foot? Two foot. Two feet. Two feet. Two feet. Okay, so we're just using the colgada as glue to make this movement extra stretchy. And it's predicated on what idea? Followers and leaders or what? Square. Facing each other. Well, yeah. in this case, facing each other, but our feet are? Wide. Wide two and? Feet. Two feet. Our weight is on two feet. Two feet. Yeah. yeah. And is this a lateral movement? No. 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 Yeah, there's a little bit of a letter U. It's a little harder when either one of us is in a cross way, so we actually make it just a little smaller. Yeah, it's smaller. So, what was the analogy that we used? Like a bowl. Yeah, we, we're trying to hold up a bowl between us. And actually, that's the exact setup for the Rebecca alteration, which had a hint of Kolgada. Um, however, we did several alterations. Here's the line of dance. Leaders, after changing weight, how many steps did we make? Two. What system are we? Cross what system. system? But the followers' hips are what? Open, open, open. or cross? Yeah. Open, and mine are? Cross. cross. Right. And we're in a cross system, which is extra confusing. Leaders, what do I do with my foot, with my right foot? If I want to do the alteration with my right foot, starting on my right foot, where does it have to go? What's this? Yes, or close to hers at least. And then as I turn, I can do what? Change weight. Change weight. For followers, what are you trying to avoid doing? Collect. Well, we can collect, but what is the AOR? Um, Ocha. What does AOR mean? No, guys. Automatic Ocha reflex. The more you can set it up, leaders, by capturing the moon uh, next to her lead leg and giving her a little bit of space but blocking the ocho, giving space for the alteration, the more successful you'll be. Okay, uh, followers, uh, this is for you. Whether we are following in an open step or a crossing step, and there's a pivot there, what is really our leaders asking us to do? They're asking us to? Step around them. Yeah, so this is a turn movement. It's not an ocho movement. So some good advice for followers is to close. Close your eyes. Thank you. <laughs> close your eyes, or else you're gonna get really confused. The leaders doing these weird things. You're just in a turn, so work on your open turn technique right now. Great. Um, and then we did the Rebecca pattern. Hi Rebecca, this is uh, for you. It's on the YouTube page several weeks ago, and uh, we added a little bit of spice, just breaking down the pattern very slowly, so you can see. I lead my partner to my left, and on her side step, I do what? He does what? Step back, step back and then try to stop her where? On two feet. On two feet, which creates a little bit of what if I hang back? Oh, yeah, and then I... Whip around. I can do what with my front leg if I want? Cross the front. Instead yeah. of a saccada? Okay. Hook in front. Cross in front. Yeah. Okay, and I believe uh, she did one more too. Yeah, from, from her ocho, but we won't get into it. Okay. We stop right here. We'll do a little demo that includes normal alterations and a couple of Rebecca's. So. Okay. Der Westbahn 